Here's an infrastructure update brought to you by St. Charles Parish Government. Parish President Cochran and members of the administration toured the West Bank Hurricane Protection Levee in August. The tour started on the Willow Ridge reach of the levee and ended with work being done on the Ellington reach of the levee. Phase 1 of the Willow Ridge reach, the 9,500 foot long levee, is now complete, giving residents in the area 7.5 feet of flood protection. This earthen levee is now maintained by the Lafouche Basin Levee District. Phase 2 of the Willow Ridge Reach, the pump station, is now online. When used, it will pump 300 cubic feet per second and will immediately relieve and add capacity to the nearby Cousins Pump Station. In addition to the pump station, a retention pond that will eventually grow to 15.7 acres has been created. All clay from the digging of the pond was reused for the levee. This phase will be maintained by the parish. Phase 3 of the Willow Ridge Reach is the Willowdale Pump Station T-Wall, which is now complete, tying in the Davis Diversion into the West Bank Hurricane Protection Levee. The T-Wall will be maintained by St. Charles Parish, however the 1,500 feet of earthen levee on either side of it connecting to the Davis Diversion and to the Willow Ridge Levee is in the process of being turned over to the Lafouche Basin Levee District. Phase 1 of the Allington Reach is under construction. The completed portion of the levee has been seeded and runs from the end of the Willow Ridge Levee to the Cousins Pump Station. This phase also includes the earthen levee from the former Sewer Force Main Crossing to the future Magnolia Ridge earthen levee. Behind Valencia Drive, contractors can be seen hauling clay and constructing Phase 1. It will eventually provide 7.5 feet of flood protection. Depending on weather, it is projected to be completed by the end of 2017. Once the levee is 4.5 feet high, they will take out existing berm, shift the canal over, and use the dirt for the levee. This will provide a bigger buffer for residents. Plans for Phase 1 of the Ellington Reach include a pump station that will pump 500 cubic feet per second for residents to drain the immediate area of the Holder Estates, Primrose Estates, and Coronado Park subdivisions. Further down, culverts were added to separate the flow so that water on one side will flow to the Allington pump station while the other will flow to the Magnolia Ridge pump station. Phase 2 of the Allington Reach is the portion of levee from the Cousins pump station to the Sewer Force Main Crossing, which sits in between the two sections of Phase 1. This section is being cleared and grubbed of debris from trees in preparation for an earthen levee to be constructed. An outer berm has been built and the levee is going to bid later in 2017. Phase 2 will also involve a 6-foot levee tie-in running from the earthen portion of Phase 1 behind the Cousins Pump Station into the earthen portion of Phase 2. The long-term plan is to construct a 14.5-foot T-wall behind the Cousins Pump Station. This phase will also involve a T-wall just past the Cousins Pump Station where there is an existing gas pipeline. Until then, parish officials will use an air suspension bridge to drop super sacks, similar to HESCO baskets, to flood fight. Another T-wall is planned to go behind the Kellogg pump station. However, for now, the parish will build temporary levee berms to tie into either side of the projected Ellington levee to flood fight. Further down, there is an intersection of four different pipelines and the projected earthen levee. The solution, until a permanent T-wall is constructed, will be to mat the road and fill the area with super sacks similar to HESCO baskets to flood fight. T-walls are the most difficult thing to build on a levee system. We want residents to know that every day we're making strides to complete this levee. Every day. We, I've been asking Congressman Graves every time I go to D.C., come see what's going on. He was one of the first ones to come out and see the need for a levee. I am thrilled that he took the time out of his busy schedule for the people of St. Charles Parish. Now he can go back and lobby our efforts because our surrounding parishes have been built, levees have been built with federal money. Our people, our residents built what's behind me. You know, yeah, we've gotten a little bit of help, but nowhere near the help we should be getting. This is so impressive, uh, you know, it gets so frustrating to see so many 
people spend as much time and money as they do on studies and reports and things like that, but to see this project move to turning dirt as quickly as it has, to see the progress and real protection in place in, in the short period of time that we've seen here, uh, really just fantastic to see. This is my favorite part of a project, is watching the dirt turn and watching progress being made, and already uh, seeing the, the difference that it's making and keeping water where it belongs, and that means out of people's houses and in the swamp. We are working right now uh, trying to help educate other members of Congress from around the country on the difference between being proactive versus being reactive. There's mis this misnomer out there that you're, you're being fiscally conservative by not spending money. And the reality is, after we saw after Hurricane Katrina, after we saw after Hurricane Isaac, and many other storms, is that being proactive is the fiscally conservative thing to do. You make principled investments in projects like this one. Uh, to where you make your communities more resilient and uh, that way next time it rains, next time you have a storm, it's just another rainy day, not a devastating situation where you're sitting there gutting homes and shutting down your economy. This has been an infrastructure update brought to you by St. Charles Parish Government.